Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Isabel if you are new here. Today we are doing this makeup look, doing a little girl chat, talk, answering some questions, talking about some different topics. Subscribe if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see how how I get this look, just keep watching. All right, all my cats and kittens, um, we're gonna get into the makeup. Um, so I already have on, I wash my face, primer, wait. Wash my face serum primer and then I put the NARS pot concealer on spots where I have more porous skin. I just kind of let that like sit and melt into my skin for a little bit and I feel like it really helps with the look of the texture um, of my skin when my foundation lays on top. So today we're using um, the NARS in medium 5. I love this foundation. I'm going to use it on its own today and see how things go. You know me, I'm always mixing foundations, but today we'll see how we do with just one and see how I like it. Um, so someone nicely commented and said to try to put foundation on the back of your hand and then um, put it on from there, which I used to do. I used to do that, um, but it's just like an extra step that just kind of annoyed me. Um, I've said it recently that I'm trying to try new techniques with how I'm doing my makeup and I'm like trying to see if less is more in the sense of like because I have a lot to cover up so that's my thing is that I have um freckles and acne and um scarring and whatnot feel like I need to go in with a heavy hand but I don't necessarily need to I'm learning so anyways, um, I also wanted to ask if anybody has any treatments that they've done to help the texture of their skin. Um, I, I think microneedling is what I'll need to do. Um, I was recommended a med spa near me. It's kind of not near me, but there's like nothing near me. So I'll have to drive a little ways um, to a med spa. And I know I can talk to them because um, I think I'm going to start with a hydrofacial. I just like want to get everything out of my skin. Um, so I'm going to actually, I think I should do that today. I'm going to call them and set up an appointment for a hydrofacial and then go from there. So if you have experience with, um, and I know peels, I think chemical peels are also really good for like retext, like resurfacing the texture on your skin um so anyways that was just one of the things that I wanted to see if any of you guys had experience with also I changed up the lighting do we like it is it like because sometimes I just feel like it's too bright it's too like cool toned it's too whatever tone so recently I've been going back in with um, a beauty blender to go over my foundation. Don't forget your ears. Um, and I have today's girl chat topics and questions that I'm going to start talking about momentarily. I just needed to like get into the flow of doing my makeup. <laughs> you know how it goes. So I've been really liking going over my foundation with the Beauty Blender. I feel like it just puts everything into place and it and it kind of seamlessly, um, I don't know, do you see, like, did you, I don't know. I can like see a difference. Okay, so I did a very light layer, looks awesome. I feel like I need like a tiny bit more coverage on my forehead. So I'm going to get into the questions. So today is more of like a girl chat. <laughs> Us girls, boys too, always invited, but like we're talking about girly stuff. One topic was mom guilt. And this is something that you don't really like, you can't even like, what am I trying to say? Obviously until you're a mother, you'll never understand. Um, it's like a whole different, it's a whole different feeling and um, how to deal with mom guilt. There are some days that I like look back at the day, feel some type of way that I didn't do enough, that I didn't spend enough time doing something with the kids or 
a anything, a, a certain situation um, that I feel mom guilt over. You have to remember that you're a human. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. And like, as long as you know that you're doing the best you can, um, that's really, really all we can do. And um, some days are very hard. I forgot how hard it was to like talk and do makeup at the same time. So basically how I deal with mom guilt is I remember that I'm a human being and um, I remember that they'll get to a point, even if they like get mad at me or you know, if I have a day where I feel like I wasn't a good mom, I just remember that I'm human and that tomorrow will be a better day and really that's all you can do. And um, I really, really, recommend to take time for yourself and I've always said that like I've always been someone that you really need to like prioritize yourself and the time spent with your children will be more um will be more like valued because I know especially for me when the kids aren't in school and I'm with them every waking second it's like I just feel like it, I'm like okay well we're together this entire time like what else like we can spend time together later, like we have all the time. But when you don't have all the time, it's like you know that you don't have all the time, so the time that you have is more precious, you know what I mean? Um, so definitely to take time for yourself because kids, our kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna understand um, how difficult it is to be just an adult in general, you know, to see what we do do for them and we have our bad days and mom guilt's totally normal it it's happens to all of us so i don't even know what i just said in that answer i should have like thought of that before i talked about it but um it's just something that we all deal with and you're not alone like know that is that you're not the only one that feels that mom guilt of any situation if you're working too much if you're not working enough if you know it's just like it's always gonna it's always gonna be there so um i had someone send me a dm of a long situation that they're going through that um i'm going to talk about to the best of my ability um but basically i'm not going to say it word for word but she is getting ready to get engaged to her boyfriend like it's just something it's kind of like mike and i like it was like no secret that we were going to get engaged they picked out a ring yada yada um she just doesn't know like when they'll get engaged but they've talked about their wedding and um she it's always been her dream to get married in the fall and her dad is getting married next <clears throat> 2021 and then her boyfriend's sister um who's become one of her best friends is getting married in the fall of 2022 and she knows she's getting engaged in she's getting engaged soon which it's 2020 i think like oh my god it's almost over thank god and so she's like, I just don't want this like weird wedding conflict. Um, if she were to do it in a few months of his sister and they're planning both weddings and um, she really doesn't want to wait three to four more years. And this is like, I like, it's, I hate these kind of situations because you don't want to take anyone's shine. Do you know what I mean? And like, obviously be in that situation is just like I wouldn't know what to do exactly either but if it's been your dream to get married in the fall I don't think it's the end of the world I really don't each of your days will be your own days it's not going to be about anybody else I think as long as they're not on top of each other like that would be weird if like your sis your soon-to-be sister-in-law got married on one Saturday and then you got married the next Saturday like that's a bit much but I feel like if they're a couple months apart or even a month apart, like, that's that's totally fine. It's like, we're just at that age where that everyone's getting married. You know what I mean? Like, I've obviously this year hasn't been as much. Um, but Mike and I have had years that we've had weddings back to back on a Friday and then a Saturday. We've had weddings for weekends in a row. Um, and it's not that you're, cause you won't be taking any, how you can't take anything away from the bride and groom on their day. Um, I mean, I really don't think you can. So I think it's like perfectly fine to do your wedding kind of close, but not 
two loaves. Like, I think that's perfectly acceptable because it's not fair. Like, it's like we all, life is so short. And like, if you got to do stuff for you too, you know what I mean? So as long as you're not, oh, look at my face. <laughs> as long as you're not doing it on top of your sister-in-law's wedding day, you're good, boo. And you do you. You better send me that flipping ring. You know who I'm talking about because I know you're watching this, my little boo-boo cake. Um, so anyways, so obviously in my last like how I do my makeup video, I did my makeup differently. But I just like haven't been happy with how it's looking. So that's why I've been changing it up and I've been happier with how it's been coming out. Um, but I'm still playing around with makeup. I'm actually gonna film a video right after this of all my um, Sephora, my Sephora VIV holiday sale haul, whatever. It's right here and I haven't opened it. Like, who am I? I've been dying to break into it, but I haven't because I'm a good girl and I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I like could have. I mean, I guess I could have used it. Like it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but um, I'm gonna open it all on camera, so I'm doing that right after this if my little baby cooperates with me because both boys are at school today, so. I think there was something else I wanted to say that had been like bothering me about nothing. It wasn't bothering me. It was just like a point that I wanted to make about, um, you know, self-care and doing things for yourself. And this week right now, this whole week i literally told anybody close to me i was like unless it's a dire situation like please don't need me for this week like please my kids can need me obviously i'm their mother like i'll do whatever i can for them <laughs> whatever they need but besides that like i just like need this week it's just been so crazy and like i just i hope that everybody gets to a point in their life where you can like speak up for yourself and stand up for yourself because not like stand up for yourself but like if there is a situation where you don't feel comfortable or you know you you need to voice your needs and um you know feel free to say no when you feel like you're overwhelmed and you're drowning you know our own well-being affects everybody around us um i don't know what i'm doing i just feel like my neck is too light um so speaking of girl talk like that's just what um i mean it's anybody talk but i just i can't stress enough how important it is and i'm here right now to like remind you to make sure go get your nail like go make an appointment to get a pedicure something anything go drive your go drive and get a smoothie Oh, love a good smoothie. Um, it's just so important to do that stuff. And for a long, long, long time, I did not. I just put everyone else before myself, which a lot of times you just have to do, which is fine. But make a point to make time for you. Um, it's so important if you want to go on a walk by yourself, if you have kids, find somebody to watch your kids just for a couple hours. Like it's all you need is a break. Do your makeup, do your hair, take a shower, put on that cute flipping top in your closet that you've had sitting there. Even if you're not going anywhere, like even if you're going to TJ Maxx or Target and like have somebody like, ooh, cute top. Like where are you going? Like I'm going nowhere, but I look cute. You know what I mean? Like it makes such a difference i can't even tell you now i'm gonna set my entire face yes my entire face with the fit me loose finishing powder in light medium 20 this is all because of my friend amber i just can't even believe that i'm obsessed with the powder like i am this and i'm not using my rimmel stay mat oh my god am i almost out of this i need to get a new one um, so I just take my broken brush, it's just a flat top kabuki, 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 and I set my under eye. I do that first. My little trick that I learned from Sarah Ashcroft, who I'm, I literally am, I've never been so obsessed with like a beauty blogger in my life. 
She's absolutely stunning. She's from the UK, which I just like need to move to the UK and hang out with all of these beauty bloggers. Like I just die for that. So I am using the Laura Mercier um, setting powder in the darkest shade. And this is my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer brush in 195, which I love. I'm so glad that I got this. And where I put my contour, I'm going to just sweep it, give that contour, but you just very light hand, tap it off, tap it off, my dear. Then sweep it on the cheeks, sweep it on the cheeks. Oh, look at that, look at that. So gorgina, okay. We're gonna do over here. I also highly suggest whatever shape face, shape face, face shape you have, which I'm like still confused. Like, can someone tell me? Am I like oval square? Like, what is my face shape? I think it's like kind of square, square. Like, I don't know. Um, but I highly suggest to look up your face shape and then look into how to contour your face shape because you'll see like different methods of do the three and like do your whole forehead or only do here and it's like it depends on your face shape and what you want to do it seriously makes a huge difference that's just my suggestion of the day but I just like my thing about translucent powders is that they flipping like the little like dust flying everywhere okay so I'm just gonna like make sure that we're blended I, I definitely need to blend my chest is like I don't understand I did the self tanner but I didn't use my go-to I used Bondi Sands which I don't die for we will blend our chest in a moment I'm gonna use my Kylie blush in pink dreams and then I'm just going to pop into my Becca, my Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette and add some blush. Ah. Yes, baby. No blush for you yet, my little princess peach. I love you. Okay, so another topic question. Mom boobs. Hello. Um, so I like to call my boobs pancakes. All right, I gotta do my eyebrows. I know, but I have to do my eyebrows. Can you just hold on a moment? So I um, breastfed all of my babies for like basically if you add it all together. So 15 months, 10 months, and 12 months. Or no, 11 months. So 15, 11, 26, and 10, so 36. So three years I had my boobs being nursed on. And I now have pancake breasts. I honestly don't see anything wrong with plastic surgery if that's like what you're into. Um, honestly, hopefully one day I, I, I will get a booby job. There's like, I don't know what to say. Like mine look like flat pancakes. I don't really know. I do suggest that you have all the kids that you want to have before you get a boob job because that would just be silly. I've heard of people that have gotten their boobs done and then have babies and they're fine but they do like fall a little bit and just because I mean your boobs get so massive being pregnant and breastfeeding and then for me as well is I would gain so much weight and lose so much weight and gain you know what I mean so like that on top of them just getting gigunda um i hopefully one day will get them done nothing like nothing like i don't want no like big like booby doobies um that's just like not my vibe because i've never had i've never been like a big chested person so i don't want to be all of a sudden like but i definitely like they need like i'm not exaggerating like they need help if you're not happy with something like that that's making you super self-conscious for me it doesn't make me super self-conscious i just know that as i get older it's gonna gravity is gonna do its course and they're gonna get worse and worse i just need somebody to be able to watch my kids while i recover for however long um 
but it's something like super I've never been put under anesthesia like anesthesia anesthesia I don't know how to friggin say that um I've never had like a major surgery anything so I am like super freaked out about that and just to like recovery recover from a major surgery is like no joke but um that's it on mom boobs I mean and if you got those big badonka donkas that are just like still nice and perky like you're an angel, you're amazing, I'm so jealous, but can't relate. <laughs> My next, um, this is a question, do you and your fiance plan on getting married or just keeping things how they are? So, is this lighting weird? Hello? I'm back. Okay, here we are. I just went to get my lip liner. So, we are definitely getting married. Um, we have been together for nine and a half years now, it'll be ten years in... July of 2021 which is so wild let me do my lip liner and then we'll continue because I cannot talk all right I can talk now so we're absolutely gonna get married um I think I had said before how we started planning uh like we literally started planning like we saw a travel agency and like contacting people in the country we want to get married and this was all in like the beginning of 2020 and then corona hit and it's tough because we don't even know what the state of the world i mean hopefully they keep saying that this vaccine is going to come out soon um 